Hello, everyone, and welcome to our demo series. Um, today, our topic is maximizing paid media ROI with intelligent audience syndication. So I'm Kristen Session. I'm Senior Product Marketing Manager here at BlueShift. And today, I'm joined by Eric Gordon, um, Senior Solutions Consultant. So on the agenda today, um, we, are, we will be covering an overview of what audience syndication is. Um, Eric's going to give us a really great demo and show us kind of what that looks like and how you can do it. We're going to cover some of the key benefits, key use cases, and a couple great customer stories. So with that, let's get started. So what is audience syndication and why should you care? Well, with budget cuts and the rising cost of paid media, the pressure to make every marketing dollar count is really increasing. But the good news is, is that marketers can really leverage their um, earned first party data um, to optimize their paid media with audience syndication. So BlueShift's intelligent audience syndication feature allows marketers to optimize their paid media with powerful audience targeting, ensuring that every ad is relevant, impactful, and reaches the right audience, of course. Plus, audience syndication is made super easy and accessible with BlueShift, allowing marketers to effortlessly build and export custom audiences to paid media channels like Facebook, Google, TikTok, and more. But I won't give away too much because Eric's going to go through a really great demo, but wanted to kind of give you guys a quick intro and overview of what that is. So with that said, I will pass it over to Eric, who's going to dive into the product and tell us more. Thanks, Kristen. So today, um, as we talk about how do we maximize return on ad spend and the impact of your digital ads using BlueShift, we're going to look at three things. First, we're going to be looking at BlueShift Segmentation Builder. This is where you're going to be able to define audience with all of the rich data that you can collect and utilize within BlueShift. From there, we'll look to see how we can use BlueShift's audience syndications to take those segments that you've built and then automate moving those to various ad networks. And finally, we'll be looking at uh, BlueShift's App Hub and how you can connect to a multitude of ad networks to have consistency and targeting across each of these networks. So with that in mind, let's jump in. So today we're going to be looking at a retailer here, Blue Blue Lemon. So uh, Blue Blue Lemon utilizes uh, Blue Shift to maximize their return on ad spend. And the team there knows that it takes them about, or it costs them about seven times as much to acquire a new customer as it does to retain it. So they're always looking for ways in which they can optimize that acquisition spend. Uh, and But they also know that not all of their customers are created equal. So how can they use all of the rich data that they have that they can use to identify who their high value customers are and then go out and use that to find other lookalike audiences? So with that, we'll go ahead and we'll jump into the BlueShift platform and see how the Blue Blue Lemon team is using BlueShift. So here we are uh, in the BlueShift platform. We're gonna be starting in our segmentation builder. So let me draw your attention over to the left here. So you can see all of the various types of rich data that are available to the marketers to build their segments. So this concludes um, all of the unlimited number of user attributes that can be brought into BlueShift, uh, messaging engagement, so opens, clicks, uh, any activity that's being captured. So any events either coming in from your website or your mobile app. So these could be add to cart, clicks, uh, any event that's specific to their business. So in this case, a lot of e-commerce specific events uh, and then finally, enhanced uh, data. So automatically generated uh, user affinity. So what does each user have an affinity toward for either specific categories of products or brands of products? And then finally, also predictive scores that can be utilized to determine who might be uh, in market, uh, who might be likelihood, uh, have a high likelihood to engage uh, with, with the brand. Those can all be incorporated in. So if we look over on the right here, so far, the Blue Lemon team has identified what they say are their high value customers. So these are um, value customers utilizing all of the automatically generated lifetime activity uh, elements uh, and attributes here. So a lifetime revenue uh, for a customer who's greater than 1,000 or a lifetime number of orders where it's greater than eight. So that's how they've defined it. And as they add new um, criteria, they'll automatically be able to uh, refresh those user counts and see what the impact new criteria has on the, the size of this audience. So maybe we've got our, our high value customers, but 
uh, the Blue Lemon team really wants to uh, target those individuals who have an affinity toward a specific category of product. So we can come into the user affinity um, section, go into item category, and we'll go ahead and choose uh, athletic shorts. Go ahead and save that. And we've started about 28,000 individuals. We'll go ahead and refresh that for about 16. So still a good size audience for the team. And so they're gonna take this segment and they were gonna uh, utilize that to automate sending that uh, to their various ad networks. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So we'll move over into audience syndications. So this is where the teams can take those segments they've created uh, and then automate sending it to various ad networks. In this case, we're gonna be looking at how they can send that segment over to Facebook. So prior to coming into syndications, they've utilized um, the BlueShift uh, App Hub to set up their connections. And it's a very simple process. Really, all they're doing is entering in credentials to connect their Facebook, uh, uh, current Facebook ad uh, account. And then from there, they're able to come in and automate this process. So first off, they're choosing that segment. So again, the high value segments, but this could be any segment they've created. And the great thing about the segments uh, that are defined within BlueShift, once those are um, defined, any users um, who meet that criteria, um, the segments are uh, evaluated on a consistent basis. So as new customers meet that criteria of a high value customer, they'll automatically place into the segment. And then uh, the team can come and determine that, take that segment, what uh, network they want to send it to. In this case, we have Facebook. Uh, and then they have the ability to either create new audiences or sync with an existing one. In this case here, um, we're going to sync with an existing uh, audience that was created in their Facebook ad account called High Value Members, uh, and then schedule that. Um, so this could be a one-time send for a very specific campaign or set up to be on a recurring basis. In this case here, the team is setting has that set up to send on a daily basis. So that's all there is to it. Very simple, straightforward. And really what this allows the Blue Lemon team to, to do is automate this process. They no longer have to go over to their uh, to their data team and say, hey, can you pull me a list and then take that list and manually upload that. They've automated all that process and really are able to use all of that rich first party data that they've already collected to really in, uh, enhance what they're doing from an acquisition side. Now, this was just one uh, ad network uh, that they're connected to, Facebook, but utilizing um, the BlueShift App Hub, um, the team is able to connect to uh, over 24 different ad networks. Now, uh, BlueShift has direct connections with Critio, Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Taboola, and TikTok. And then with our uh, partnership with LiveRamp, uh, we can syndicate audiences to many other ad networks, including uh, Amazon, Pinterest, and Twitter, to name a few. So with each of these integrations, BlueShift will send as many identifiers that each ad network will accept. Uh, and if you are collecting those attributes. And then it really allows the team to uh, have the highest overall match rate possible on each of these networks. For instance, with Facebook, um, the team's able to send over 14 different identifiers to really expand that reach and find a much larger audience who meets the same criteria and is a lookalike to their high value customers. So this is just one example. Um, another example might be that, hey, as soon as someone becomes uh, a new customer, we might want to synchronize them over to put in a suppression. Why spend money on a customer that you've already acquired um, and then utilize that uh, for finding more, more new customers or shifting those dollars a little bit more over to your retention as well. Uh, another example might be just keeping top of mind. You know, as much as we want to have that long time customers, sometimes customers decide that they, you know, they're moving on, uh, but we might want to put them uh, into a re-engagement program. So utilizing Blue Shift's um, journey canvas here, uh, the team over at Blue Lemon has identified unengaged users. So they've identified this as individuals who haven't clicked on an email or one of their SMS in the last 60 days, uh, and they haven't made a purchase in 90 days. So again, using that segmentation builder, they've created a segment uh, and they've also included these as their high value customers. Now, one of the things that we can do here as part of this journey is incorporate some additional AI components. The first criteria here is 
uh, the team is determining based upon how each customer has interacted, what their affinity is. is. Are they more likely to engage in email or SMS? This could also be push or in-app if uh, Lululemon had a mobile app. So in this case here, maybe the first customer comes down, they flow into an email specific um, channel based upon what their affinity is. During that first email uh, or at each of these stages, we're also doing predictive optimization. So sending the message at the time that the user is most likely to engage on that channel. So again, the, the right time, the right channel, uh, and also maybe the right message as well, uh, utilizing things such as category affinity. So in this case here, we're continually checking to see if the user is engaged or transacted. And unfortunately, there are times when people just maybe aren't engaged anymore, but we still wanna uh, stay top of mind. So down in the lower left here, uh, utilizing the same journey, uh, the Boo Boo Lemon team is marking those individuals, uh, flagging them uh, so that they're taken out of the daily uh, messaging that's going out. And really, they, they want to be able to ensure that they're not affecting their deliverability to sending people who aren't engaged anymore. But at the same time, they're using that flag to build a new segment um, so that they can stay top of mind uh, at, with these customers. So even though they aren't engaging with their direct channels, they're still staying top of mind and, and the brand is uh, keeping brand awareness for those uh, in those paid media channels. So again, just another example of how the Blue Lemon team is utilizing all the rich first party data uh, to build these rich segmentations, drive automated programs, and then automate sending these audiences over into their paid media to really tie together both the retention and acquisition marketing. So with that, let me hand that back over to Kristen. Awesome. Thanks, Eric. Great demo. Awesome examples. Um, so as you all can see that, you know, audience syndication really has um, many great benefits, including enhanced targeting and relevance by using that, you know, rich first party data, um, boosted return on ad spend and reduced um, cost per acquisition by targeting those high value audiences or so saving on spend. Um, the seamless cross channel engagement you know, you can do this all on one platform and connect all of your marketing channels. So that last example was a was a great example of that, you know, with the retargeting and using email and other channels together along with, you know, so your own channels and your paid channels. And then of course, saving valuable time and effort um, with automated segment distribution, you know, the easy to use segment um, builder and all of that. So um, way more benefits than this, but just to highlight a few, those are some. So um, there are also a great number of use cases, which Eric covered a few. So you can target high value customers, which we saw, or you can even suppress low value customers and then even take it a step further to optimize these with AI to reach the customers who might have a high probability of purchasing or whatever your goal event is. Um, you can also leverage audience syndication to strategically retarget customers who might be unengaged on an old channel, but you can you know retarget on paid like Eric just saw or just showed us. Um, you can enrich prospecting with lookalike audiences. So there are tons of different use cases that you can really kind of apply audience syndication to. So let's take a look at a few customer examples. And um, the first one we have here is um, a photo book company called Chatbooks. So Chatbooks leverages audience syndication to retarget their you know, current customers across paid channels. And they by doing this, they saw a 4.4 time increase on um, ROAS. So um, you can see here, they said that the easy to use segmentation studio enables them to really identify and target um, the best users across their paid channels. It helps them improve that return on ad spend um, when it comes to retargeting and kind of using that. So one great example. Um, on the next slide, we have another one, which is an e-commerce retailer um, pro compression. So um, audience syndication really enables the team to leverage their data and segmentation in Blue Shift and use that for targeting across um, their digital advertising so that can really hone in and focus on it. Um, so in a recent case study, Chief Marketing Officer um, Fred Hernandez shared that um, automating the audience indication with Blue Shift has saved them countless hours, eliminates you know, tedious manual processes. So no more you know, manual um, list building and uploading. Um, and then with the real-time list powering their advertising, they've really become more sophisticated and precise with their targeting across digital, you know, just as much as they are in email. So really great results there. To see both of those, you can go to blueshift.com um, slash customers and you 
both of those case studies are available to read in more detail. And then on the next slide, we have um, Sweetwater. So Sweetwater, we recently did a webinar with um, called Rocking Retail with AI. So this is a really fun and interesting one. And Jeff shares um, really great insight on how uh, they use audience syndication, um, how it allows their email and paid teams to really work closer together, use those like pre-identified audiences. So they're, they're kind of more in sync and um, can get a lot more done a lot more effectively. So if you want to learn more about that use case or how other customers might be using audience syndication or other blue shift features like um, recommendations and other parts of AI, you can visit blueshift.com slash events to view all of our webinars on demand and sign up for um, upcoming webinars as well. So with that, if you're interested in learning more, we'd love to chat about you, you know, chat about audience syndication with you and how you might be able to use it. So you can go to um blueshift.com slash contact us and we'll be happy to chat with you. So that's all we have today for you. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Eric. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. See you later, everyone.